So I just I just don't want to sound weird. So let me just cut to it because you guys know my minutes are short. So I started this whole maximize March thing because I was looking for um, balance. I just felt like my life was out of control. And what I recognized is when I went into that the first word that came up to me was balance and there's even like these balance skills at z gallery that i'm like fascinated by it's like 250 dollars but i'm just fascinated by the idea of balance and as i explored that it made me have um like a signpost like an alto alto like a stop sign of values what am i valuing you know what i mean how could I find balance if I don't know what my values are, what's important to me? I think that health is important to me, and it is. It really is, but I am not exercising that in my life. I also know that my freedom is important to me, but I don't feel like that I'm really um, living my most free life. And then when I started to really like challenge myself and say, okay, I'm going to find some balance. I'm going to look at my uh, value system, and I'm going to just really look objectively and find things that bring me peace and that's how I started I just wanted some balance I wanted some peace and then all of a sudden this whole concept of values and what I value versus what other people value came up and I didn't even plan on going on a trip I promise you that guys I was frustrated on a Friday I was on a plane on Saturday okay and that is the kind of freedom that I want to exercise in my life now it does take money and I do value stability as well I'm I am impulsive but I am not crazy you do have to have you know foundation in your life but I have never just felt like I've been in a place where I wanted to put down roots and I never even thought about that concept until I was there talking to the hotel girl and she was saying how yeah travel is nice but sometimes you want to put down roots and I just and I thought maybe I'm missing that in my life because I'm 34 years old and I just haven't found that place yet and as I was walking on the beach I just thought that man the only place that I could really put down roots is somewhere that had a beach you know what I mean because it's something about for me the sand and just knowing that things do shake and things do shift I'm not looking for the most um, solid life and, and I'll say it this way like right now I am working so hard so many thoughts in my mind I'm working so hard to be something that doesn't even really make me happy I'm working so hard to do something that really doesn't bring me joy and I'm not rich I'm not richer for it I live a, a middle class life upper middle class life because I don't have children but I'm not I'm not the wealthiest let me just say that so I can go somewhere else and live a completely kind of way and just make what I consider to be a living wage you know how what is it going to take for me to accomplish that I live in a one-bedroom apartment it, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that hard yes I do know that life gets hard but if you take the limits off and just see okay what am I valuing what's bringing me peace and when, what are my priorities what are some of the things that I can live without and I started recognizing like a lot of the things that I do and this is very transparent with you guys is basically out of fear you know, fear of failure, number one, um, fear of embarrassment, fear of being alone, uh, fear of being homeless, you know, which those are all real fears. But what if I switched that and started to come from a place of living in God's will to be my most abundant, happiest, service-filled life? How can I become